stepping into the spotlight virtually. All right, we're live. We're on. Local field hockey players showcasing their skills to university and college coaches across North America. This is an amazing event. The video really is able to showcase Canadian players during a time like this, obviously, and um, it gives everyone an opportunity to get what they need to get to the next level. Almost 40 players taking part in the first ever next level field hockey showcase at Woodside Park. The girls definitely haven't played much this year, so I think just getting them back on the field, it was a great opportunity for them to get their exposure out from the coaches as well because Normally they'd go to showcases in the U.S., so this is a really good way for them to still get that exposure. This is a brilliant idea. It gives the girls a chance not only to play, because they haven't had a chance to play. We're in stage three right now, or modified stage two, but now they're getting a chance to play. And it's a game they all like, you know, the game they want to play. The four-hour session featured great saves, nice goals, and a chance for the players to get noticed through a live stream. Coaches from Canadian schools and Division I programs in the United States looking on. The American schools included Michigan, Wake Forest, Colgate, Vermont, and Indiana. There's a lot of Division I programs that can't do recruiting right now with the Recruiting One Division I ban. We have a ton of Division I coaches, and we've never had this and many Division I coaches sign up for an event. Um, so it's really, really cool that we have Michigan, Indiana, um, Wake Forest, Villanova, some of the top, top schools in, in America that are, that are watching here today. Right now, like most of us haven't played since like March. Uh, I know this is my first game back and it feels a little weird, but um, it also helps because we can't like go to the States and get recognized by um, school, so the way they're live streaming it gives us a chance to be recognized. Um, and just being back in the atmosphere of field hockey is just really nice. Megan Hobson from Waterloo scoring this goal in the first game of the day. Hobson is a student and field hockey player at Blueville Collegiate. I would say that I'm very passionate about the sport um, and I just love to play like this is like, like I just love being out here um, and I just don't give up on the ball. Um, but I think like what makes me a great player is just loving playing and always loving going to practices and games. Jillian Rovers is another local star receiving attention for her strong play. Rovers is a multi-sport athlete who attends St. Mary's High School in Kitchener. I would say I'm a pretty determined player who learns quick and picks up the game pretty quick seeing as I only started in grade 9 at school. Um, I have a lot of speed on the field and I like to use that and I'm a pretty heads up player. She's fast and she's smart, she listens. Um, haven't seen much of her, but just seeing her today, like wow, she you can tell that she's very overall athletic like, and she picks up things very easily. Another great feature of the combine was a shootout. It allowed for some one-on-one -on -one action and there were some terrific goals. This event, all part of the goal to give young athletes future opportunities. Ryan Necheski from Next Level U Sports was one of the organizers. Our thing is just making everything positive, making a positive platform for these athletes, making a positive platform uh, even for the coaches and even the volunteers. Everyone that's a part of this knows that it's being done for the right reasons. Um, and I know that there will be a lot of girls that get contacted after this. So that's just like a really gratifying, good feeling that, that we all have here with the staff. And we end this story showing smiling faces and players having fun during their interviews. Erin Bauer getting drenched in water by her teammates. <laughs> Oh my God. A fun and successful day at the first ever Next Level Field Hockey Showcase. Everyone that was a part of this event, thank you for being here. Without you guys being here, this doesn't happen. Um, thanks for following all the COVID protocols. Thanks for, thanks for everything. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.